And finally tonight, the pitcher in a funny looking cap making baseball history. Over the weekend, Alex Torres of the San Diego Padres became the first major league pitcher to do something that could mark a revolution. Here's ABC's John Donvan. When Alex Torres went out there wearing this on his head. Look at that cap that he's wearing. There's a lot of things you can put in there. Half bottle of Chardonnay. <laughs> he knew it would get at least this kind of gentle joshing. But here's why he wore it. This time last year, he was in Tampa when it was his teammate Alex Cobb up there and Cobb pitched and this came back at him. Oh, look out! And Torres, who's from Venezuela, took over that day. But it got him thinking. I'm going to be playing this game for 10, 15, 20 years. I don't know something happened with me with a land right in my head, so that's why I wear it. It is called the ISO blocks, and it has major league approval, offering protection from a straight back at the pitcher line drive. It's safe up to 90 miles an hour. Does it look odd? Sure. But they said the same thing when batting helmets became mandatory in 1956 and the little ear covering in 1983. And remember, football, that meaty sport, went from this to this to this because the guys kept getting hurt. Two million kids play baseball, so Alex Torres says... I really feel good, you know, for the, you know, if, if kids watching me, I hope so that they, they can use it too. So what if his teammates make cracks about looking like Super Mario, and even his wife has said it looks weird? He may not go down in history as one of baseball's greatest left-handers, but if the pitching helmet catches on like the batting helmet, Alex Torres will always have that footnote of having gotten there first. John Donvan, ABC News, Washington.